Welcome down to another Golf Mates video. Today I'm in my hometown of Bolton and I'm here at Horwich Golf Club. Bad thing is, soon to be no more. It is closing down next month, so there's not many rounds of golf left out there. I'm here today to tell you the reason it's closing down and also it's probably going to be the last time I'm going to get a chance to play this. You know, when I started playing golf, I learnt on courses like this. So anyway, let's play a few holes and enjoy Horwich Golf Club. Right, so we're on the fifth hole here at Horwich Golf Club. Par 3, uphill, 130, playing about 144. I'm going to hit a 9-9, but Horwich Golf Club is a 9 hole with 18 tees. It's a par 67 and it's 5,300 yards. And I'm gonna be honest, there's some great holes here, but when you get high up, some great views, but you can even see the Mecca, which is uh, Bolton's football ground. Right, that wind's changing, it might even be an eight high in this, but we'll just stick with a nine, but you'll not believe it. A company called Peel Holdings bought this golf club 10 years ago. But let me take my shot and get on the green, hopefully, and tell you what's happened in the last 10 years. Skiddy one in there. It's massive. Oh no, it's on the green. We'll have that. A little bit right of the green. Yeah, just been talking to a member. Anyway, let me get on the tee. And uh, this is very interesting, this. Look at that for a view. Great greens. Oh, look, the Reebok. Burnham Park were better, but that'll do for a view. So it's like I said, it's great views. Right, Peel Holdings bought it 10 years ago. And this is what they've done. They kept funding the club for 10 years, paying for the green staff, so the club can carry on for 10 years before they shut it down. At first I thought, oh, hello, but... They actually they bought the uh, course about 10 years ago. And they're always... And they gave, they paid in yearly instalments to keep the club going. Right. You know what I mean? So, ah, so they've actually kept it going an extra... Was it struggling then? Yeah, yeah, it won't make any money. The conversation you've just heard there from the member, the club could have shut down 10 years ago. So, in this situation, it looks like selling the golf course has given them an extra 10 years' life. Which is not bad, is it? Right, golf mate, so on pin I got a bit lucky. Now, what I do remember, it's a bit of a change here. If there's any Horwich members ever going to watch this video, tell me in the comments. I swear that used to be a pond in front of here, and I remember this being hard a hole. It's bunkers now, but I swear it used to be a pond. I might be wrong. But, anyway, pin I, I've got a little gap wedge. Greens look pretty fast, to be honest. It should be a little right to left -er. Hey, this is really good, this. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I'm not giving myself that. We'll get that in. Start off a nice par. Now, I did a similar video in Derby about a golf course shutting down, and remember, if I listen to the start of the video. Where are you going to go when this shuts? After the pack in, I've done you. I don't know where to go now. Not at my age. Terrible that, he had nowhere to go. Uh, it's not the case here at Horwich, it's... Uh, let me put this par in, get on the tee there, fire my tee shot, massively down the middle, might be into wind, so we'll see. Might not be that big. And I'll tell you what the local golf clubs have done, which uh, is very clever. Look at that, a little par. Eh? Not bad for these sexy long legs. Anyway, right, next hole. Six hole here at Horwich. Currently, Lee Harrison is level par. Long may that continue. Right, so around Bolton, there's a lot of golf courses. There's Dunsker, there's Turton, there's Bolton Old Lynx, there's Bolton Lost Dogs, there's Regent's Park, uh, there's Braitmate, there's Harwood. There's Dean, Dean. Now I grew up around Dean Golf Club. Well, I've got a house there, should I say. And I've never played it, but, but, listen to this. Where are you gonna go? Dean, I think. Yeah, they'd, someone just said there's a, they've put someone on, haven't they? Yeah, so I think Dean, I think they're gonna do for like, the first, I think it might be 400 for the first year, and then they might put up a little bit more. But either way, it's really good. Good deal, yeah. stuff. Dean Golf Club, which is all around the corner, are doing a deal where members of Horwich, when this shuts down at the end of this month, they can finish the season there for 150 quid. And next year, they sign a two-year contract. The first year, or two-year membership, the first year is 50% off. So, Dean Golf Club, uh, up there for thinking, isn't it? Down there for dancing. Right, par four, 320 yards. I'm not going to get there, but I could get close because it looks like it's quite fiery. It's still dry, or even in Bolton's been a bit dry. Oh yes, all right, let's watch that bounce. Boom, boom, boom. 
I think it's close to the bunker, Nate Green. That is a... Uh, I should have played here a long time ago, but it's good at the moment because... Don't laugh wherever you're coming from in Europe or America. There's a bit of a drought going on in the UK and the fairways are like fiery. <laughs> Makes you a lot bigger than you are. Every man's dream. <laughs> right, here's the hole now. I didn't know it were all humps and burrows. I thought it was quite straight hole, but gorgeous looking hole. And it makes me think, because it's a nine hole course this, I don't know if you've started watching the hidden gems, the series links up there. My appreciation for nine hole golf courses is through the roof because probably when this video comes out, there's a golf course in Scotland on the Hidden Gems. It is the best nine hole course in the world. Easily, easily the best. So make sure you watch that. Right, look at this, our right, just before the bunker. Uh, I'm gonna try and run one in, but what I am gonna say, you're in the elements here, because that wind's well going this way. It weren't in your face, it's right to left. But it looks like a little plateau in front of the green there, so I might have to throw it a bit higher, actually. I don't know how far I've got, I don't think much. Oh, this could be good. Look at this, zoom in now. Oh, that could be big, actually. No, it stayed on the green and it looks really good. I can't tell a lie, otherwise I'll have a big nose. And if I've got a big nose, you might litch it for me over there because you'll be closer than I am. Boom, boom. Use that for anybody who's got a big nose. That was a little bit like my hair line. Thin. Now, I have got a birdie pup. I think this might be straw cake, so I'll probably get a shot. Uh, but it could go fast and, and long. Get rid of these. Drive were good, but that was a little bit thin. But you'll take it. What do you see next door? Belter. Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, you little sod. Well, I'll put it in, otherwise the gimme police will be on. What I am going to say, comment below. Is there any courses around your neck of the woods closing down? Because it is getting a bit of a common state, this, where you hear about courses closing down. This one, I think it struggled for members. I think that's why it was hard to keep going. I'm going to take a guess here, and hopefully the comments will put me right from the members here. I'd say, I bet they only had about 50 members, maybe, playing. For that amount of members, for keep a course going, it's probably not enough, but... There might not have even been 50 playing members. I could have got that wrong. If you're watching this on a mobile device, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press all on the notifications bell. It really helps us out. Right, we brought you to the 16th fall here, or the 8th, I don't know, you would work it out. It's 431 yards, stroke two, sponsored by Gas Appliances Services from Bolton. Now, I do remember this hole. Mark is there. I think if you can get it 200 or 210, it goes down like that, and you can get right close to the green. But, the wind is massively left to right, so I am going to aim at them trees. Hopefully it works. If not, it's sayonara. And then when we get down there, you're going to have a beautiful view. Oh, stunning view. Beautiful. A lot better view than my derriere. That's French for bottom. Learn something new on the channel, don't you? Go on, baby. Light my fire. Wind's just getting it now. So it's coming down on that hill. Can't see that far, because it's a little bit hazy. I've got a feeling that might be uh, position A1. That is good, yeah. Right, so when we got here today, it was like two o'clock and there were one car in the car park. So I had a walk around the club house. It looks like it's not really open no more. So, eh, I know it's shutting, but it's just a shame, curtain shut. It's like everyone's moved out and that's it. And then got talking to a member and he was saying like, Peel Holdings were going to build maybe two years ago, 450 houses that get knocked back by the council then 350 but now they're building 250 houses here uh it is a shame they can't get it going because look at this all it's a belter and speaking of a belter i don't know if i'm blocked out i need a low one or a bendy left or right but like i said a bit more left there that could have ran down to the front there but gorgeous views gorgeous views and I'll find out what the membership is, a year. I'll put it up there now. I don't know, but if it's not a much to play here, you can partly understand why they couldn't fund themselves. Uh, very lucky there, very lucky. Let's see, what have I got here? Would you, I didn't believe it. Just, just wanted just a few more bounces there, but not bad, good shot. Right, so I've set the cameraman up there. Wind left to right. I've got 150 downhill. I'm gonna try and aim at eight tying at that building there. I won't say try and cut it. I'm gonna put my old swing on which does a left to right, and let's see if we can have a bit of Liam magic, but 
I'm asking a lot actually, because it's not the building I'm going to be aiming at, it's the big tree. But we're here for a good time, aren't we? Not a long time. I'm going to downhill lie, so that should help the left or right. Look at that, it's going now, it's going. If you zoom in near that bunker on the left, I think we're going to get the bunker on just left of it. Oh, it's massive. Sit down, sit down. Down, boy, down, up near the fence. Did you see that, Presley? Hey, we've got a new cameraman, Joe's Apprentice. I think he got that. Oh, we've got a goal for the. Hopefully, he doesn't nick the ball. Otherwise, he'll have this eight iron right up his derriere. That's French for backside. Again, I think this is fast. Little gap wedge. And uh, the left to right downhill. Doesn't want much this. Oh, it's just stuck on that grass, otherwise it would have been really good. So what, greens are all right. I wouldn't like so many green keepers, one or two. I think they've got, I don't think the sprinklers, there's water there, but I don't see any sprinklers, so I think they've got to hand water them. So they're doing all right. All right, for a par. Oh, that could be fast, that. Oh! Why didn't I get it tended? Why didn't I get it tended? All right, we'll just move the camera for you, so you didn't want to look at my bottom. So I've got this. For a ball, I tell you what, it's a fast pot, that. That chip didn't want much more, so it should be left to right. Nice little pond feature there. Hopefully they keep that. One over. On to the next hole, but seriously, what a great few holes here we're already. Absolutely class. Not too sure what's next, but we'll one way to find out. Go and have a look. Right, sometimes with uh, nine hole courses, they split the tees. It can be a bit quirky like this one. I haven't a clue where I'm going. That's the 17th. I think it might be up there, but you've got all these tees here. This is the eighth. You've got these tees in front here. What I'm trying to think, uh, I don't know if you can remember it in Birmingham, Spaghetti Junction, but it looks like here, stroke 18, 12th hole, par five. 445 yards, so I think even I've got a chance of a birdie, so we're going to play this one. Right, golf mates, we're going to play the 12th hole, like I said, sponsored by Augusta Landscapes. Ooh. And we're going to play off the tees in between the yellow and white. So as an old decorator, you mix yellow and white, what do you get is lime. So, wind is that way, so honestly, if you hit one in the furrow here, it's going to run and run and run. It's going to run like a scolding cat, as eBay Pete would say. Ooh, that is a driller in Manila. Not my best, but that'll run forever. Oh, look at that go. Oh, that is the right side of the fairway, that. I tell you what, that is a mother-in-law shot. It weren't perfect, but it's down there. So what I mean by a mother-in-law shot is this. Shouldn't be up there, but you are. And I am. So what? There for one. Actually, in great position here. I've got 190. It's uphill a bit. The wind going that way, so I'm thinking this... I'm going to try and come on the inside and draw it, and this lie should help me, so I think six iron will do it. Look at that. Oh, leave it, wind. Go on. It's about that far, short of the green on the right. I got that on the inside, really happy with that, really happy. So it's a shame, isn't it? What a nice course, we're coming to the end now. Uh, starts off with an ab par three, I'll show you that in a sec, but yeah, let's finish with a birdie. But yeah, a bit gutted really, it's a nice course, and like I say, it's a lot of people's course as well. Right, I've got a little gap wedge, I just want to pop it on the flat and let it run down. I'd love to finish with a birdie. Oh, this could be awesome. What? It slowed up? No way. Oh, what lines you actually uh, jizzed up a little bit then, again, for a birdie. Greens are all right, honestly, they are. Oh, I've pulled it. Oh, after all that messing around, that messing around. Okay, it's gonna look like we're gonna finish with a par. Right, so again, Horwich Golf Club, bites the dust. It's a, it's a bit gutting, really, because I've got friends. Dave Arkwright, shout out to you, my friend. Hopefully, you're still playing here. Uh, yeah, gutting. It's actually a decent track, it really is. And. Uh, be sad to see it go. So I've been Liam Harrison. Make sure you like the videos and comment below, Horwich members, where are you joining? See you soon.